I love my Glowforge, but I'm not gonna lie. The first time it wasn't cutting through like it was supposed to and like it had been when I first got it, I was freaking out. Did I just waste $3,000 on a machine that's now gonna become a paperweight? Calm down, it's not that bad. 95 times out of 100, you just need to clean your lenses and your camera. I know that sounds super intimidating. The first time I had to clean my lenses, I was terrified I was gonna ruin my machine. Calm down, not that big of a deal. Today, we're gonna go through step-by-step -step how to clean the lenses for your Glowforge Basic Plus or Pro. So that way, you don't have problems like I have where you spend two hours engraving something that hopefully you cut out just to not see cut lines on the back. Ugh, there's nothing worse. So stick with me and let's laser and learn together. Hey guys, my name's Rachel and welcome to Laser and Learn, where I teach you how to use your lasers in order to grow, create, and innovate using your lasers and your laser business. So let's laser and learn together. So the first thing you wanna do is to make sure your Glowforge is off. Then, if it hasn't already, push this back into the position where the arm is all the way back and the head is all the way to the left side. You can feel free to move it to the center and up from there to make this a little bit easier. Then what you're going to want to do, then what you're going to want to do, and this step is technically optional, is to get some kind of canned air and a brush. This is just a makeup brush that I pulled from one of my makeup things that I wasn't using anymore. But these are two things that will help you not scratch your lenses. Then what you'll do is you'll take your canned air and you'll blow off any of the dust. You can already see how that's starting to make a difference. So you'll blow off dust anywhere that there are some of your lenses. Then what you'll do is you'll take your brush and then you will brush off the different parts where there are lenses. There's one over here. Don't forget, lift up the top part and there's a little blue tool. Grab that and that also needs to be cleaned as well. Then what you'll want to do is pull off this piece. You do not need to take off the ribbon, but if you feel more comfortable doing that, feel free to do so. For the purposes of this video, I'm going to do that so I can show you guys up close. So you'll take your tool. You want to make sure to clean off this one right here with your brush and your air. You should have already removed this one up here. And then what you're going to want to do while you're cleaning your lenses anyway, you want to clean this fan. So take your canned air. And you can see it's already significantly cleaner. A lot better. Then you are going to want to turn it over and you can see these two little things. You'll want to brush those off. And then this is your main lens that you are going to want to clean. So you're going to take your blue lens tool, take the side that has the metal part, and you are going to stick that and then you should hear a clasp. Once you hear that, that's your lens. So you can see how mine has gotten dust and dirt and it's just not cutting as well as it used to. So let's go ahead and clean it. We're now going to take our brush and you can brush off any kind of crumbs, brush off the middle here a little bit, and then what you're going to want to do to clean all of your lenses 
is you are going to take a lens wipe. These are my favorite brand of lens wipe. They've been reliable, they come in huge packs, and they're easy to use and throw away when you're done. So the first thing that I do is I take my wipe and I wipe down this side first until it looks about clean. Okay, now I'm gonna take it and flip it. I'm gonna flip this to the other side, flip the mirror to the other side where the yellow part is closer to the top. This one has kind of a bowl-like shape. I'm gonna hold it with my thumb and forefinger and then I'm gonna take my white, open it up a little bit more and I'll wipe this down. So you can already see it looks significantly less dusty, significantly cleaner. So I'm going to flip it over to the other side. It should rest there a little bit easier than what it had before. Look at it, maybe wipe it down one more time. And then what I'm going to do, a lot of them have these arrows, but if it doesn't, you want the side that is more concave, so it has a bowl-like shape to go into your head. So you're going to take this back, and again, you do not have to disconnect the ribbon during this, but I just did for simplicity of the video. You are going to take this piece, and you are going to put it back into that size. So put it back in, push it all the way in, and then pull it out. And there you have it back in. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my wipe and I'm going to wipe down these little side lenses right here. They're not too dirty for me because I just did this recently, but that will help you with that as well. Then to the side, you're gonna wanna wipe that down too. You can kind of see mine is smudged right there from a fingerprint from me. So I'm just gonna take my lens wipe and wipe that down briefly. Already looks a lot better. Then from there, you are going to want to clean your camera. So I already have my wipe. I'm gonna wipe down my camera. This will help with centering as well as viewing things. You can also wipe down that area, but I wouldn't recommend using a lens wipe as much for that. You also will wanna take your head in the blue piece that we mentioned before. This is the mirror everybody always forgets. And then with this too, wipe it down. Now, if your wipe gets dry during this, don't be afraid to just grab another. It's not gonna have the same effect if it's really dry. So you can see, beautifully clean there. So I'm going to put that back in. You want the Glowforge stamp at the top, and then it will slide in like this. You don't wanna put it backwards or any of these lenses backwards or else it will not cut correctly. And then this part just magnetically clamps to the top. Now the other mirror is the one we used. This can be just be a quick clean and you don't have to do it that often. Thank you guys for joining me today. Subscribe for more videos and check out new videos on this channel every Monday. Let's keep blazing, keep learning. See you guys next time.